For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So effectively, the entire safety systems were grossly underdesigned, and actually Union Carbide was quite well aware of it. They had actually redesigned some of the systems in their similar plant in West Virginia. But it was also storing large amounts of methyl isocyanate, which is, as you know, a very dangerous gas. Emergency scrubbers were not there. There was a main one scrubber which was there, was not designed for this magnitude of discharges. The Refrigeration system was switched off. MIC is supposed to be stored at 4 degrees centigrade. It was switched off to save electricity, save essentially power bills. The emergency, the scrubber was not even working. The flare tower, which is supposed to incinerate any of the emissions, the flare tower was disconnected on that day. The pressure sensors, etc., were not working. So, if you really look at the whole range of maintenance measures, the kind of uh, safety systems which had to be not only put in place but also maintained, all those were not being done. So effectively it was really like a time bomb waiting to go off and that's exactly what happened. What we know in hindsight is there was a simple remedy which could have prevented a large majority of deaths if only Union Carbide had shared the information uh, on that night. A moist cloth on the face uh, could have actually prevented much of the isocyanide from going into the body because it gets absorbed in water. But this was not something that people know at that time. Bhopal settlement took place on 14th and 15th February 1989 for a sum of 470 million US dollars, which amounted to about 715, 13 crores at the then exchange rate. On 4th, and 4th May 1989, uh, the Supreme Court said that the settlement was based on the assumption that only 3,000 people had died and 1,2,000 were, inj were injured. By 2004, the claim courts had determined that more than 5,74,000 victims were actually exposed to the toxic gases and all of them the courts actually paid compensation to this many out of the money which would receive for one lakh five thousand the last 15 years there has actually been no attempt by the government to monitor the long-term effects to try to find remedy for the long-term effects or to look at any other new 
remedies that may have come up in the meantime.